This is Pastor Larry Allison, Gospel Light Free Will Baptist Church in Bonterre, Missouri. And uh, this is our first message uh, during a time of a uh, national crisis with the COVID-19 uh, that's going on around our country right now. And uh, to our church family, uh, let me announce to you that our, our general board uh, met this afternoon, uh, this Wednesday, and the decision we've come to is a hard decision. Uh, we're, I've been uh, pastoring for 40 years. I'm 70 years old, and uh, we have never seen anything like this uh, in our lifetime. So we're dealing, we're in uncharted territory right now, and we're praying for the Lord to give us wisdom, uh, the, the right thing to do, the thing that would please Him, the thing that would be safe for our, our congregation, that we might uh, keep them safe. I know as the shepherd of the church, the pastor, it's it's our place, our position to not only feed them, uh, but also protect them. And so uh, a lot of thought, a lot of prayer went into this decision. Uh, effect of this Sunday, we will no longer, for the next two weeks, have no more on-site worship services uh, at the recommendations of our, uh, our president. Um, we have several seniors uh, that are in our church family, and so we're taking this very seriously. Uh, I, I believe that uh, this will be a time it'll test our faith. Uh, it's an opportunity to grow in our faith. Uh, we Listen, we serve an awesome God, and uh, I believe with all my heart that he's on the throne. We can trust him to meet our, our daily needs. Uh, I can say this, worship uh, is going to be different for a while. Uh, we've, we've never been here. Uh, this virus, uh, you know what? It can uh, stop us from assembling. But it cannot stop us from worshiping. Uh, and here's how we're going to deal with it in these next couple of weeks. As we maintain, uh, I believe, a spirit of worship. How do we worship? We worship by meeting with God. We, we worship by hearing from God. Uh, and then as believers in Christ, as members of the church, we, we even worship by our giving. That's, that's a form of worship as we give to the Lord. And we want to have the opportunity to do all three of those. Uh, what we are going to be doing, and, and bear with me, this is all new uh, to me, so I'm going to work through the, the rough spots, but we're going to be broadcasting our uh, our message uh, on Facebook, on our church websites. It'll be available to you uh, at 11 o'clock on Sunday mornings, okay? Uh, the next couple weeks, that's what we'll be doing. I'm also considering giving some devotions throughout the week, also available uh, on those places, on Facebook and on our church website during this this time. Uh, we're going to have online giving available once we get it set up, as well as possibly a drop-off time uh, for those of you that would like to continue to give to the Lord's work uh, in that way. Uh, here's the thing. We will get through this, uh, and this too shall pass. It'll be behind us one day. Meantime, uh, we're going to trust the Lord. God is able uh, to meet our needs. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep loving Jesus and giving him praise for all things. Uh, God has not given us the spirit of fear. There's a scripture in the book of 2 Timothy, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And listen, we're going to trust God. Uh, on good days, on what some folks might think are bad days, we're still going to trust God. He's on the throne, and he's able uh, to meet our needs and deliver us. Uh, I believe God can give us peace, even in the midst of a time of emergency. Uh, how do we find peace? What can we do to encourage ourselves uh, during this difficult day? I believe we can encourage ourselves in the Word of God uh, daily. You should read your scriptures. And we'll, in the, the coming messages, we're going to give you some good tips, some ideas to help us in our daily Bible study. But spend some time with God. He He's the very one that can encourage you uh, in this. Uh, spend time with God in prayer. Well, we, we, when we meet with the Lord in prayer, when I, when I read my Bible, God's talking to me. When I have prayer, uh, listen, I'm talking to God. And so we're going to trust him. Uh, our online worship will be available. We hope, we pray that it'll be a time of real encouragement and real blessing for you uh, during this time. To my church family, uh, I hope this message finds you well. And uh, let's be an example for Christ uh, in these days ahead. And we will absolutely keep you posted 
uh, upcoming things that are going on, any changes to be made. Uh, really, this thing nationwide, it's changing daily. Uh, but as for now, this is our plan for at least the next two weeks. Uh, I'll be giving you some more helps that will try to help you stay encouraged in the Lord. Uh, keep a good, uh, positive outlook in this. Uh, the, the book of Psalms. I love the Psalms. In chapter 121, verse 1 and 2, we hear these words. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Listen, he's our peace. He's our comfort. He's our strength in this time today. Uh, would you join me in a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we come to you just now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, even in a difficult time, we pray for our nation. We pray for our president. We pray for all of our leaders. And Lord, we pray for all those in authority that you would give them wisdom, Lord, to do right things, to do good things that'll help and improve this situation. But above all, Lord, our trust is in you. Lord, you are our confidence. You're, you're our victory. And Lord, uh, we come to you from whence cometh our help. We look to you, Lord, God, who made the heaven and the earth. We pray that you'd bring comfort, Lord, where there's distress. Uh, some folks are in a panic. Lord, we pray, would you give them peace as they put their trust in Christ? And Lord, would you bless my church family? Would you encourage them? Would you uh, help them, Lord, in this time? And they might grow in their faith. They, Lord, might use us as an opportunity to shine for Jesus. And Lord, I just pray, would you give us wisdom, even in the decisions that we have to make as a church in these days ahead? Thank you, Lord, for another day. Every day is a gift. Today's a gift you've given us, and we thank you for it. So, Lord, bless right now, and we thank you for answering prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and have a good day.